TLO, what's back? My bad. <clears throat> what's back? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, right above me, man, this is my... Uh, if you miss a live, this is where all the highlights and things of that nature will be. Don't forget, we also got merch. Yeah, get me. And we have Patreon as well, man. We post there Monday through Friday. Double upload today because we missed yesterday. And uh, let's get into this, man. This is Sky Boy. Make sure I hit that young like button. Uh, South London's deadliest gang, Cyrac. I think I've been listening to their main song. Let's see. Let they play it in. Now, Cyrac are a gang based throughout the Summer Leighton and Moorlands Estates in Brixton, SW9, situated in a London borough of Lambeth. Brixton I think that's itself it. Yeah. Is an area that is close to Brixton Hill. SW Welcome to Brixton, right? Man, let's look it up. Hold on. Because I've been listening to that. Oh, no, that's like a banger. They need to bring that. They need to throw a remix on that one. Hold on. To Brixton. That's SR. This SR hood, right? Come on now. How they gonna throw an ad when I'm trying to? Oh, I'm on. I'm on screen time right now. Come on, G. Chill, 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 chill. Yeah, that's it. Hey, I've been listening to this all week. From now, TikTok reminded me of the song, but I had already knew. But the, hey, that's my. That's my. Hey, that currently. Banger. <laughs> Borough of Lambeth. Let's get Brixton negative. Brixton itself is an area that is close to Brixton Hill, SW2, Tulse Hill, and Clapham, as well as Stockwell, amongst others. Now, Brixton as an area has been known to have gang activity since the 1980s, especially at the time of the Brixton riots that took place in 1981, 1985, and 1995. These riots were a product of racial discrimination by the Metropolitan Police towards the Afro-Caribbean community. I was just about to ask, what was these riots about? It was even stoked further by the shooting <coughs> of Dorothy Cherry Gross and the oh, death wow. of Wayne Douglas. The shooting of Dorothy Cherry Gross. Dorothy was 37 when she was shot by Inspector Douglas Lovelock. The police at the time were looking for her son, Michael, when they raided her house. She was paralyzed due to the shooting and unfortunately passed away from kidney affection in 2011. As for Wayne Douglas, he was 20. So they shot her and she lived and then passed away in 2011? Shit, what was the settlement? What was the settlement number? Six when he collapsed and passed away in police custody in 1995. Post mortem concluded he died of heart failure during questioning. However, it was later found out that he had been held face down and restrained by the police four times. Yeah, that don't even make sense. Now, around this time, a few gangs would form in Brixton, most notably MZ, aka Murder Zone. Murder Zone formed in a summer late in the state. At this point, gangs in Brixton had heavy rivalries with PYG, Peckham Young Gunners, and SI Shoot Instant in Peckham SC15. During this period, MZ were allied with other notable gangs in Brixton, which were PDC, Pildem Crew, on the Angel Town Estate, as well as OC, Organized Crime, on the Myers Field Estate. Murder Zone also had rivalries with Brixton Hill Bullies, located on Brixton Hill, and Trust No One, located on Tulse Hill. Nathan Foster, aka Browser, was a Murder Zone member. Now, on the 3rd of August 2017, Nathan was only 18 when he was approached by Junior. Nathan, ha Nathan had a horse. Of August 2000. This Nathan. Nathan was the only boy in the hood with a horse, wasn't he? That's different. I know this is a serious matter. I'm just watching, but. 17. This threw me for a loop right here. Nathan was only 18 when he was approached by Junior Glasgow, aka Junes, who was a Brixton Hill bully member. Nathan was then shot six times with one bullet going straight through his heart. Glasgow killed him in a cold-blooded 
premeditated execution because a friend of Nathan stole Glasgow's 800 pound chain earlier that day. Junior Glasgow was later arrested and charged. You know what they always say, a friend of an app is an app. During the sentencing, Judge Peter Rook said, at your young age, you have become part of the gun culture, which is a blight. Don't condone it though. On some of our biggest cities, Glasgow did not have the emotional maturity to deal with being robbed of his chain and reacted wholly out of proportion, the judge added. You carried out this terrible revenge on someone you mistakenly thought was responsible. The court heard that an argument had taken place in Marcus Garvey Way between Glasgow and 18-year-old Corey Bell, who was with the group of friends, including Mr. Foster. During the argument, Mr. Bell removed Glasgow's chains from around his neck. Glasgow then returned six hours later and shot Mr. Foster as he sat on a wall with friends near Brixton Tube Station. Junior Glasgow was sentenced to serve a minimum of 20 years of his life in prison. An article was released in 2007 by The Guardian where young teenagers gave their accounts on growing up around gang violence. One teenager named Michael 17 talked about Murder Zone and said, I arrived from Ghana when I was about 10. Growing up in Brixton was hard. My mum couldn't help me because she was working day and night. At secondary school, I was a target to be picked on because I couldn't speak English properly. It got to the point where I flipped and anyone who tried anything, I used my strength and get. I'm 17 now and when I look back at our intentions, it wasn't to become a gang. We were just children mucking about. We grew up on the same estate, came from the same school and ended That's normally how it is. up playing together. As we grew up, more friends started joining and we got bigger and bigger. Age 14 and 15, everything changed. We started being lunatics, robbing handbags and phones. That's when the name starts coming up. MZ, Murder Zone, My Crew. Back in the day, everyone from here to Croydon and Peckham knew about us. Being around people that sold drugs, I knew they were making a lot of money. So I thought maybe I could do this to help my mum. So I started dealing crack, heroin, weed, so I could make a grand a week. I used to use a bike because I knew the feds target drug dealers in cars. Oh, gas gang, gas gang, oh, gas gang, gas gang. Oh, oh, gas gang. Oh, oh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn to Baghdad. Now a few years down the line and some of the same Murder Zone members would go on to join the famous Gas Gang Alliance. MZ will now go by Cyru, which was a name that was influenced by the infamous Pyru Gang based all the way in Compton, USA. Notable MZ slash Cyru members of this era included Belzy, J Gang, Five Star Fizzy, Trims and Josie. Gas Gang was formed by Barford Joff in Brixton during the 2010s and was mainly located on the Angel Town and Loughborough estates, with most members hailing from the former PDC gang. However, some of O. If they, they still do this show, 90s Baby Room, the 90s Room, they should bring that back. I bet you with a bus now. C members and Murder Zone were part of the alliance. Gas itself is an acronym for Guns and Shanks. Notable Gas members include Sneakbo, J Kid, Clicks, Maggie, Mad H, Hard Ads, Political Compete, oh, Shallow, Snake amongst Bull. others. Gas Gang also had an alliance with 031 Bloods in Stockwell, Roadside G's in Brixton, Stick Up Kids from Battersea, and Claptown located in Clapham. Here's one thing you need. Obviously. Brixton Bully! My bad. Every time I hear the, the, the clown Brixton, that's what I... They also had rivalries with PYG, All About Money located in Stockwell, Back Your Mash located in Kennington, Trust No One, Tulse Hill, and Brixton Hill Bullies, obviously being from Brixton Hill. Little Zach, real name Zach Olamegbon, was a Trust No One member. Now in July 2010, Little Zach was only 15 when he was stabbed to death by members of Gas Gang outside his own His school. killers were Helda De Mores, aka Mad H, Jamal Moore aka J Kid, and Ricardo Giddens aka Maggie as well as Kyle Kinghorn aka Clicks. The four murderers were all given life sentences with Gideons told he would serve a minimum term of 18 years, Kinghorn and Demarai 16 years each and more 14 years. For some reason, like when I first seen the picture, in my head, I should have said it out loud, in my head, I knew he got the most time. Something about him. As for Shaquille Hogton, well, he was found guilty of manslaughter and was detained for eight years with an additional four years for wounding Zach's friend, making a total of 12 years. 
Joe Morgan, aka Josie, was a Sairu slash Gas Gang member. Josie passed away in a car crash back in 2011. This was a huge loss for Brixton. Josie was loved by members of Gas Gang and Murder Zone and was particularly close to members such as Belzy and Sneakboat. Belzy would release a tribute track titled Jojo where he says, Life's short, I just lost one of my best friends. When that car crashed, my heart crashed. Two buckets full of tears, yeah, I shed them. Now Aziz or Ronnie Khan was never a gang member nor had any affiliations. However, he was a close friend to Josie, hence he attended his funeral on 2011. Unfortunately, Mr Khan was caught up in a shootout between two gangs which took place at Josie's funeral, resulting in his death. It was a complete and utter failure from the police as they had been warned about the possibility of violence at the burial of Morgan. While the funeral service and the wake were held in Lambeth, the home of the gas gang, the burial was in neighbouring borough of Southwark, in the turf of two rival gangs. Mr Morgan's mother, Carleen Brooks, had asked for a police presence because of fear that her son's grave would be desecrated by her son's former gangland rivals. And in Good call, mom. Good call. Emotional Mr. Khan, a respected mentor to young people at his <laughs> local mosque, had just left the graveside of his friend when he was shot and killed just outside the cemetery. A 17 year old was also wounded. Now, during this time, Gas Gang would thrive in the UK road rap scene. Ard Ad, Shallow, and Belzy dropped a banger titled Empire, where Ard Ad gives us a history lesson and says, Let me tell you about Bricky and my life too. 15, the first time I consigned food. Same time I was banging on my typhoon way back before MZ was Sairu. Around this time, Sneakboat, the face of Brixton and Gas Gang rap, went viral with his hit, Touch a Button. It became somewhat of an anthem in the UK and even gained international attention later down the line. I, I saw this guy and he had his hoodie on and his glasses and, and he was with his boys. And what I loved was he was rapping over dance hall beats. And I plugged the computer up to the big speakers and I turned it loud and I was like, whoa, like, I, I couldn't believe the pockets that he was finding and the consistency of his flows and just the choices that he was making. And I became very... This is pre-beard, Drake. Very intrigued with this character that they call Sneakbo. Sairu's alliance with Gas Gang was ended during the 2012 slash 2013 after it was reported by Five Star Fizzy that Sneakbo allegedly snitched on him uh. and wrote statements about Five Star during police questioning. I'm trying to show people and that other underground rappers have come to my block to check the papers, you get me? And they've all seen it and said to me, bro, my man's a snitch, my man's this, my man's that. Regardless Arts, of what's ads, going on. Ads and shallow, ads see them? Arts, ads. Ads with his bike. As soon as he heard, he was nearly crying, mate. He nearly cried, yeah. he sat down, he was holding his head. He was pissed. Little Torment linked me. He read the paper, said he's a snitch. Even a couple of his dogs, I was on court, obviously, they used to be my brethren, innit? Yeah. We had a couple of cases from 011 that we had to attend for early this year. Yeah. Get me? And when I'm seeing them at court, man's telling me, yeah, he's a snitch still, he's a snitch this, snitch that. So as soon as the child done, everyone got hung jury. And like, we didn't have to see each other again, you get me? It's like everyone ran back to me, you get me? Like, oh. Started putting on his chain and all these type of things. Sneakbo was nicknamed Snitchbo by some after this, and this created a huge rivalry between two former gangs that were once allied. Now, around 2015, Cyrus. Strong allegation right there. You can't really shake that one out the street. We would take gang. on the name Cyrac after being influenced by the name Chirac, a reference to Chicago drill culture. At the time, the name would be shortened to just. Hey man, talk to me one more time. 2015, Cyrus would take on the name Cyrac after being influenced by the name Chirac, a reference to Chicago drill culture at the time. We like them black bandanas too, man. Salute. The name would be shortened to just Rack. During this period, they were known for their rivalries with 6-7 from Brixton Hill, 86 from Tulse Hill, 150 from Angel Town Estate, Cassava, Brixton and Money Never Sleeps, Pollard's Hill. Jay Munna, real name Jarrell Ellie, was a 150 slash Cassava member. Now on the 8th of August 2015, Jay Munna was spotted by Nathan Bell 
who then ran him over with an Audi that crushed his skull. Oh, he really ran him over. Not just hit him and, you know what I'm saying, like, boop, boop. No, he, ha. Like, he got busy. That's tough. That's the word. That sounds terrible. Was spotted by Nathan Bell, who then ran him over with an Audi that crushed his skull. Several weeks prior, Jarrell, an aspiring physiotherapist, had been stabbed in the buttocks, and 16 year old friend of Bell was arrested over the attack. Prosecutor. Aspiring physical. Th wait, what was he? Several weeks prior, Jarrell, an aspiring physiotherapist, had been stabbed in the buttocks, and 16 year old friend of Bell was arrested over that. Hey, Siri. What is a physiotherapist? Healthcare professional who's worked directly to improve movement. Oh, that's convenient. Because he got uh, in the butt, so he could, he knew what to do probably. Like for aftercare and things of that nature. Tech had been stabbed in the buttocks, and 16 year old friend of Bell was arrested over the attack. Prosecutor Ed Brown QC said Gerald was labelled a snitch for talking to the police about the stabbing. And on the night Gerald died, August 8th last year, he had armed himself with a knife and was in Brixton looking for the 16 year old the court heard. He briefly chased the teenager but then fled himself when Bell, behind the wall of his girlfriend's white Audi, came after him. Bell decided in those moments to drive the Audi after Mr. Ellie. Others chased but obviously the Audi was quicker. Within seconds, Mr. Ellie was driven at, hit and killed by the car with Bell behind the wheel. Gerald suffered serious head injuries and was pronounced dead at the scene in Flaxman Road, Brixton. Nathan Bell was found guilty of manslaughter. Kosava then changed their name to CMG, which now stood for Kosava oh. Munagang as a tribute to Jay Munna. Now Tiny Sneaky, real name Mujahid Wilson, was a Syrac affiliate. Now in March 2016, Tiny Sneaky, 20 years old, stopped his car in High Street and got out to talk to Ashley Newman, who was a Pollard's Hill member. He was in a group of young hooded men outside Mama's Pizza when Wilson approached him. An argument quickly developed and within moments they started to fight. This resulted in Tiny Sneaky being stabbed in the chest and sadly died. Following the death of Mr. Wilson, who was known as Tiny Sneaky, Fellow members of the South London grime and rap scene went online to pay tribute to him. Among those expressing their sorrow was mobile award winning artist Stormzy and Crypt from London rap duo Krypton Conan. He has some big stars behind him. No skip? That's tough. Still no skip? Too hot? Because y'all know I'll be forgetting to put on my, uh, you get me? During trial, it was stated that Mr. Wilson himself was armed with a knife when he swung at his killer, Ashley Newman. And for this reason, Ashley Newman, 18, was acquitted of murdering 17-year-old Mujahid Wilson. He was also cleared of manslaughter, but... Just live by the knife, die by the knife, live by the gun, die by the gun. Just, you know, you, everybody knows what comes with the lifestyle they indulge in, man. Admitted possessing a knife for which he was sentenced to 12 months detention in a young offenders institution, a period he has already served while awaiting trial. And literally, in the case of this guy's, Wilson's killer, he much rather would have had it on him than, than not in that scenario, because if he didn't have it on him, Roles would have been reversed. Like, I get it, RIP, but like, you know. I went to Old Bailey. Now, Stabber, a Syrac rapper. What, what K Trap said? Bro came for the entry, but left with an exit. No, it's not an A, but it's an E for effort. That's tough. That's tough. Rapper was shot in the head by members from Toast Hill. This picture, Wait, go back. a Syrac rapper, was shot in the head by members from Toast Hill. This picture shows him in hospital after the shooting. By the grace of God, he recovered fully. Now in 2018, Stabber, real name Carl Brown, was seen waving a shotgun around and rapping in posts on his personal Instagram page, which led to cops at his door. But That's when the police dumb. came knocking, 
the 18 year old tried to escape and jump into a shed which collapsed causing him to fall through the roof and sustain leg injuries that required hospital treatment. The police found a sawed off single barrel shotgun in a bag near to where the teen had fallen. They also found crack cocaine and heroin in the house. 12 he was sentenced years. to three years in prison three? for firearm offenses. Okay. Now around this period, Cyrax's current allies were Harlem Spartans located in Kennington, Cuckoo located in Kennington. Now SA, also known as Lax, was the boss of Harlem Spartans. He was the nephew of Five Star Fizzy and the cousin of R1, a Cyrax member. This is why Harlem Spartans and Cyrax are so close. The current rivalries were 150, now also known as the Get Back Gang, located in Brixton. Oh. Kasava Muna Gang, also located in Brixton. 410, also located in Brixton. 67, located in Brixton Hill. Lower Tulsa they, they had a lot of ops. Hill, located in Tulsa Hill. Gypsy Hill. M Block, located in Stockwell. Pollard's Hill. And 28s. Both. Everybody was their ops. Located in Croydon. Now Thump's real name Glendon Spence was a 150 member and CMG affiliate. On the 21st of February 2019, he was attacked at the Marcus Lipton Youth Centre in Brixton by Cyrac members R1, real name Rishon Florent and Chibs, real name Chibuzo Ukono. Mr Spence tripped and fell by a table tennis table and was set upon by a woman named he was attacked at the Marcus Lipton Youth Centre in Brixton by Cyrac members R1, real name Rishon Florent, and Chibs, real name Chibuzo Ukono. Mr. Spence tripped and fell by a table tennis table and was set upon by one of the youths in a swift and merciless attack in front of horrified staff and youngsters. He suffered a stab wound to his thigh, severing the femoral artery and was pronounced dead at the scene Ouch. soon after. Yeah, once you hit that femoral, you out of there very swiftly. His attackers were driven off by an accomplice in a BMW, the old Bailey Hurt. Rishon Florent, 18, of Peterborough Road, Waltham Forest, East London, who was accused of delivering the fatal wound, denied being involved. However, a jury took 21 hours to find him guilty of murder and he was jailed for at least 18 years. His own friend and fellow gang member, Chibs, identified R1 as the stabber. Dang! Chibs. Oh my days. The reality of the streets, your co-defendant will most likely rat you out when you are both facing life. That's why you gotta do stuff by yourself. I mean, allegedly is what they would, they would you know what I'm saying? R1 laughed as he was sentenced to 18 years. As for Chibs, Chibs got a life sentence too. He told jurors he was also at the scene but had no intention to cause any harm to Mr. Spence, let alone intentions to kill. He can never go back to his hood, ever. Now despite snitching, Chibs was found guilty of manslaughter and was jailed for 14 years. Oh, and he's probably having the roughest time in there. I be telling people all the time, man, just because you snitched on me, you're not going to get no time. He probably ain't cut no deal in there or nothing. He was just like, yeah, no, he did it. <laughs> like, you going too. You you might as well have stayed quiet. Because y'all doing almost the same amount of years. There's a little known trick to getting started in real I for sure thought they was going to say, yeah, he got no time. But no, 14 of them, buddy. Now in 2020, Stabber, also known as SR, was released from prison as Oh, ah, here we go. Started to take Sorry, bully. music seriously. On the 26th of November, he released Welcome to Brixton. This blew up beyond belief on TikTok. This still hard. This, this still be on TikTok right now. TikTok accumulated over 100 million streams on Spotify, as well as 66 million views on YouTube. It's a solid song. Hundred millions of people heard him reference the murder of Thumps when he said free R1 got nicked for a Mazza, now he's doing life in the slammer. He's not doing life, he's doing 18 years. <laughs> now on the 2nd of June 2021, a party was held on a summer late in the state where a man was shot in the head twice and stabbed. 
police were called however armed police and dozens of officers in riot gear had bottles and rocks hurled at them as they tried to restore order following a violent outbreak the victim had survived but suffered life-changing injuries while a 17 year old has also been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder forensic officers went on to recover two machetes with witnesses saying they were both a foot long now bali real name chino johnson was a 150 slash CT member. On the 12th of September 2021, he was chilling with girls on Brixton Angel Town Estate when two men riding a moped opened fire at them around 9 p.m. Unfortunately, Bali died at the scene while a 20 year old woman was rushed to hospital with gunshot wounds, where her condition was assessed as non life threatening. A few Syrac and Harlem Sparta members were arrested after trying to flee the country at the airport but were later released. <laughs> hey, is that the way it's you know? Now on the fourth, that's negative. For September 2023, Skeng Roy, real name Ronaldo Scott, was a 150 member who was chased by men who jumped out of a car in broad daylight on Morrison's Road, Angel Town, Brixton, just after midday. Sadly, Skeng Roy was fatally stabbed in the chest. He staggered to a children's playground close to his home where he died in front of his mother, witnesses said. I know they made a song about that. They had to. R.I.P., but I just know how the negativity rotates out there. Neighbors said Mr. Scott, known by his street name, Skeng Roy, was stabbed multiple times and his sister raised the alarm as he lay dying at the gate of the park. He had recently started a course in construction and was looking forward to a career in building trade. A family friend, 55, accompanied his mother to the scene where she was found him being treated by paramedics. She told the standard the sister was shouting. She was literally shouting murder. After he died, the mum begged to be with him but were told she couldn't because forensics needed to work. His body was there until the evening. Police immediately released footage of the two killers running away after the murder. Not very fast. He was like, yeah, I'm done. Many people are claiming this is the work of Syrac again, and it didn't help their case when R1, who's already locked for the murder of 150 member Fumps, went to socials from his cell to mock the death of Skeng Roy. That was that. I heard that hop got gone again. Burned this shit so mince, not again. Not again. Not again. Now with every action, there's always a reaction and sadly as I was making this video, an incident occurred on the 3rd of October 2023. Yeah, 10 days ago! The Metropolitan Police were called to reports of a stabbing in Cold Harbour Lane at 4.44pm and found a 22 year old man in the street with a serious knife injury. He unfortunately died at the scene despite prolonged efforts by police and paramedics. Immediately after his death, the usual game of was he a gang member or innocent was played. Many claiming it was a civilian who streamed video games online. Others said it was a Syrac gang member saying he was in a few music videos of theirs. One thing for both. sure though, was another poor black man who was stabbed to death. This is the reality of the streets. Your father now in agony on a busy street. Yeah, you gotta think about it, man. That gang life, man. Do you really want it? <laughs> Sneak Bo and Jay Slappy didn't waste any time getting cheeky about his death online. A day later and a 15 year old boy has since been arrested on suspicion of murder. This brings me to the end of the history of Syrac. As always, I send my condolences to the family of every victim I mention. Yeah, for sure, man. I repeat all the victims, but you know, this is the life I live. That's what they chose, man. Unfortunately, stay away from gangs. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone.